History of ornithology. Since far off times, the inhabitants around the Straits of Gibraltar have looked at the sky amazed by the spectacular sight revealed above their heads. They admired the birds of our mountains and wetlands and the numerous flocks clouding the skies. Caves and refuges became a natural canvas where early men painted with their own hands a great variety of birds. Amongst these remote shelters, the cave Tajo de las Figuras stands out. Located near the already disappeared pond of La Janna, its walls keep a valuable legacy, which is regarded as the first guide to ornithology of the area. Inside, one may find more than 200 cave paintings, in which birds are the main motif. In later years, other cultures have also kept a direct bond with birds. Let's not forget about falconry, developed in the Middle Ages by the lower classes as a means of subsistence, to become later an exclusive art only practiced by the nobility. It was not until the end of the 19th century that English naturalists from Gibraltar described the migration phenomenon and the amazing ornithological richness of the strait. Leonard Howard Lloyd Irby stands out amongst them. Thanks to his book, The Ornithology of the Straits of Gibraltar, published in 1875, he is regarded as the father of ornithology in the area. Nowadays, these animals are still today object of our interest and we may delight in watching and studying them. The Straits of Gibraltar turns out to be the compulsory way through between two great continents. Africa and Europe, only separated by a 15 kilometer wide sea channel, where the Mediterranean Sea and the Great Atlantic Ocean become one. The landscape strikes us with its beauty. The power of nature reveals all its splendor, in the mixture of blues from the sea and the sky. The strong winds, peculiar to the area, shape the landscape, leaving their deep print on the vegetation. The eastern Levante wind brings clouds which fill the sky with grey colours and the western Poniente dyes it blue. And along with them come thousands of birds. Here we find very important areas of ornithological interest such as the marshes of Rio Palmones the beach of Los Lances, or the area of the old La Janda Pond. Standing out amongst all, we find the natural park of Los Alcornacales and the nature park of the Straits, true biological treasures and home to a varied fauna. Their privileged location and the characteristics of the land make them a natural paradise for bird watching. Nowadays, a series of strategically located observatories allow us to witness one of the world's most important ornithological happenings. The phenomenon of migration across the Straits of Gibraltar. Around three million birds coming from their breeding areas are estimated to cross this spot every year looking for their winter home in the African continent. A great amount and variety of species can be observed during the 12 months of the year. From then, about 215 are resident species and approximately another 25, regarded as rare, appear only sporadically. 
That is the case of the Rupel's vulture. In the prenuptial migration season, from March to May, the number of birds rises considerably, mainly because of the so-called summer birds that fly from Africa for reproduction in Europe's milder climate. In the post-nuptial migration season, from August to September, this natural area gets crowded with feathered silhouettes. And so it does in winter, thanks to the birds flying from northern Europe in their escape from the intense cold. For these birds, the Straits area becomes the main access to both continents. Its natural spaces, that have been declared special protection areas for birds, are a compulsory stop. In order to rest and recover while waiting for a propitious wind to take off again and complete their odyssey across the sea. We are, therefore, in front of a very important tourist resource. Not only for the great variety, but also for the amount of species that can be observed. Up to 20,000 sightings of the same species have been counted just in one day. This may give us a clear idea of the potential appeal this area represents for ornithologists and nature lovers. There are other places in Europe where a similar site can be enjoyed. The Straits of Messina in southern Italy and the Bosphorus Straits in Turkey, which along with the Straits of Gibraltar form the main migration routes of the old continent. Sustainable tourism. It is obvious that bird-watching tourism represents an enormous potential, and we should take advantage of it and create an adequate tourist office in the area. It is essential that tourist entrepreneurs are conscious of the fact that this is a priceless resource and that only their initiatives will allow for a quality ornithological tourist offer. This way, we may turn the area of the Straits of Gibraltar into the main source of nature tourism. This aim matches the sustainable development strategies implemented in the area, such as the European Charter for Sustainable Tourism of the Natural Park of Los Alcornocales.